Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. In this episode, we are back in the Mojave after spending a, what felt like a long time in Zion Valley. And we're going to be going traveling to look at the Hoover Dam here, considering the entire game is two factions warring over it. And in this episode, we're not going to be doing it alone, we're going to be joined by Eddie and an arcade gadget, because I kind of feel a bit like he hasn't been getting enough screen time. So anyway, with that said that, let's go straight get over there. And I'm going to be showing off a bit of, bit of um, the, uh, the gun. And I got from, I, I don't know why my mind, but like, got from Joshua Graham. The, the light shine, a light shining in the dark. Hoover Dam. Just follow the sign, really. Just wondering if there's a view. Here it is. That great old wall. Well, I'll be Hoover Dam, one of the last remaining functioning wonders of the pre-war world. I'm amazed it's still running at all. Too bad everyone's killing each other over it. Hmm, I wonder, are these statues... Are these statues here put here by the... It's the... Are they pre-war? Well, considering... Kind of look pre-war. The deterioration makes me suspect it's pre-war. I wonder if he has anything new to say. Okay. Lead oh. the way. Um, okay. Lead not the that. way. What's up? It could be better. If we can find... Okay, nothing new to talk about. Let's see if I can go in here. Man, I'm exhausted. Moore's got us running drills non-stop. My bad, I kind of... Looking at the person from the back, I kind of assumed it was a man. I think it was a woman. My mistake. I see you prefer the company of anarchic cultists to civilized peoples. Huh? What are they talking about, Ganon? I doubt she's talking about the robot. What's your problem, lady? I miss California. That ain't my problem. Colonel Moore survived four tours against the Brotherhood back west. If anybody can help take on the Legion, it's her. I'll take those substances that's real and that Nuka Cola. Good healing items. An honor to speak to you, sir. Here's something new here. An NCR heavy trooper. It may look like the guy's wearing power armor, or com roughly comparable to, um... Patrol to, of the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear war. Hush now, Daddy's talking. Anyway, comparable to, um, approximately comparable to, um, Brotherhood of Steel Armor, because, you know, oh, this and all. Oh, but that's... But what makes their armor unique is that, uh, um, is that their special armor does, unlike the Brotherhood of Steel armor, which requires you to be trained by someone who already knows how to, 
Chicago use it, their little special heavy armor here does not require training to use. As far as I know, because I never really tried it to use it myself. Really? NCR jumpsuit. Engineer jumpsuit. Hey. For the record, her people are like, what she's wearing right here is the NCR engineer jumpsuit. In case you care about what it looks like. President Kimball's gonna arrive pretty soon to give a speech and meet that wounded soldier. What wounded soldier? I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. All right, he's enough being downstairs. Cool. I guess we have a good enough standing with the NCR to be allowed to walk around. Good morning. I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. The NCR her sure seems to be half decided to uh, see their president in person. Look at this sight. Why would I get in trouble for stealing an empty bottle? Who cares enough about the bottle well, to get upset over it? So Fire nose hosel. <laughs> Me know English very well. Thirty caps, thirty caps. Morning. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Colonel Moore survived four tours against the Brotherhood back west. If anyone can help take on the, the Legion, it's her. Unleash their best men against us. Don't care if it's stealing. The control box is locked. Yeah, like I said, in CR, they seem to be not only just the less around, walk around completely freely, but they seem pretty friendly. Man, I'm exhausted. War's got us running drills non-stop. Oh, look at that. We found the woman herself. The Colonel Cassandra Moore. Whatever it is, make it quick. I don't have time for idle chatter. Oh, it's just a uh, sightseeing. Sorry to bother you. Bother you. Then I suggest you make your way back outside. My men have orders to shoot anyone caught sneaking around in sensitive areas. Whoa, hey, getting a little aggressive. No need for that. Thought we were friendly. Getting a little rude there. Ah, uh, whatever. I heard their voice change with a hello. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Hey. Hanlon is pretty legendary. People talk about what he did at the first battle of Hoover Dam with awe and respect. I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. Oh, 
now we officially discovered it, the Hoover Dam. I miss California. Then why don't you go back? Because the military? Got a big cannon. I think that's like an anti-air cannon or something. What are you doing? I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. He's stuck in the ground? And Eddie, come on. Oh my god, don't tell me he's stuck in the wall, dude. Well, I guess we are liked by the... I guess we are liked by the NCR. Well, liked well enough. They don't have a problem with us walking around their base here. President Kimball is going to arrive pretty soon to give his speech and meet that wounded soldier. NCR... Uh, her in love. NCR love. Just repeatedly spam. Legion, go home. Remember Bitter Springs. I'm heading to Gamora next time I get some time off. Dead man's dog. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. What? Why is she wrenching on that cement wall there? Why is she wrenching? I know it's the character just going through like... They get oh, an animation. It was a character animation, but still, was she the wrenchy? I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. <laughs> Why don't we all get to meet President Kimball? You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. Door inaccessible. Yeah, as you can see right here, the reason why they're gar trying to guard this so well, and, and the reason why the door is inaccessible, is because as you can see from here, or and from the map, uh, that, that right over here is the main primary base of the Legion. You know, where we went to meet Caesar himself. It's that close. Oh no! I did not mean to jump off! Well, I meant to jump on the railing, but I did not mean to fall into the water. I did not know you could jump down here. I did not know it's possible to come down here. I never tried till now. Good thing they put this little ladder here. Otherwise the player would be stuck. Otherwise the player would be stuck down there and you'd have to go reload a game. Things are getting stranger every day. Where Where have Where had gone America? Wait, wasn't there something that we got it like? There's something I was thinking of doing, or so here. Oh wait, my character's thirsty. The meter's are bright. A 
high endurance because it was the health, environmental resistance, and the survival and unarmed skills. You have to hand it to the NCR. Get enough hands working together and they can make or break just about anything. Talk to there's like there's like I, I think I remember like talking to someone about an unmarked quest or something. Either we've seen it before and I'm about to just do hey. what I'm about to do is just like a quick reminder or we haven't done it. Oh we haven't done it before and uh, what I'm about to do ass. is gonna be seen for the first time. Here to meet with the brass? Did you start looking for Esteban? I guess my directions could have been better. I guess we have talked to her, considering her response here. I haven't found him yet. No, I didn't expect nothing so soon. You're doing me a favor. I don't mean to be a pest. Right, where, where were the directions? I, it's been so long, I genuinely forgot. Grab out okay. The C, that's the key on the keyboard. I'm used to I'll take his dog chat. I'll leave him dress. I'll I'll let, let him keep the dignity of being, being dressed, although to be honest, I kinda would want to take his his armor, but not this time. He's already dead. Let him keep whatever dignity he could it have left. So the entire game wondering what key was to pick up stuff. And the only time the game really tells you exactly what button the press as to do this is is when you do this exact quest which is why I was kind of wanting to do it because I did because I played this game before on like the PS3 but huh? Legion!
Like seriously, for real, a part of what I dislike so much about the Legion, just one of the many reasons why I dislike them, is not just because of the atrocities and the evil that they so blatantly commit. It's that they commit these atrocities and evils, they're completely blatant about it, and it's the fact that they act proud of it. They practically brag about doing all this. That's it's a part of what I don't like about this. They commit an evil, and then they have some nerve to act proud about doing it.
This one guy practically just killed six people by himself, unprovoked. Oh wow, yeah. Wait, hold on. I got distracted! I was carrying that body and it was just getting attacked by the Legion for like eight, five plus minutes. <laughs> Jeez! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Where do you think you're going? What are you doing? I'm just going to retrieve the body of Ranger Morales. Christina hired you, huh? Christina. Well, if you're gonna go up there, there's a couple things you should know. Esteban's body's in the middle of those buildings up the hill there. Look carefully and you can see the fiends patrolling the rooftops. But they laid traps, too. There's mines all over. So for God's sakes, watch your feet. Get him back here. We'll get him home. Understood. Thanks for the help. At least we can do. Wish we could help more. Well, I appreciate the warning. Kinda after we killed the fiends and started dragging the body back. Hey, good luck. We'd be there with you, but the colonel said he'd have our necks if we tried. Thanks for saying that, even though you stopped me barely a second after I talked to you, but I already got the body right here. Drag him a little bit more. Oh my god, are you okay? You've got to get to a medic. Doc Kemp can patch you up back at base. How could you sacrifice your body like that? You never even met him. If the NCR doesn't have a medal for this, they should make one up. I made a promise. I made a promise to private morales. There must be some kind of code of honor you hold yourself to. You're like a man possessed. We'll make sure Ranger Morales' body gets sent back home. You don't have to, you know, pick him up on your shoulder and haul him to California. Even though I believe you would if you had to. You should go tell Private Morales the news. I know she'll be relieved. I'm just gonna... Yeah... Ragdoll physics. Anyway, yeah, let's go tell... Well, first of all, I'll remove my feet right here, but... Magazines provide temporary bonuses and skills, but I'm not... I didn't get to read the rest of that. Do companions annoy you by constantly running into your bullets and missiles? Take the spray rate perk. Oh yeah, that spray rate perk is a, is a perk that, like, reduces the amount of damage that you do to your companion. And should they inadvertently run into your, your line of fire, though? Personally, I don't really want that perk, because... Companion... Is... Kinda don't stand in front of me. You like that. Often... Often enough to justify a perk specifically designed to reduce friendly fire damage. Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before. But I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. All right, character slow down. Okay, let's see how we. I'll just eat the. But I'll just eat the junk food. Ninety-nine. 
Okay, good. Oh, wait, that's the H2O. Did you start looking for Esteban? I guess my directions could have been better. I brought his body to an NCR position. He's on his way back to McCarran. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You're too good for this rotten town. First kind thing anybody ever did for me in Esteban. You ever need anything, all you need to do is ask. Thank you so much. How about you just appreciate what I did for you? That's enough. That's all I asked for. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to Germany. Hold on a second, I'll take the, the you know, Sunset Sarsaparillas. Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back. Because I looked it up, and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait. You're not... Oh, wow. I'm sorry. You look just like... Never mind. Sorry. So what can I serve you up? Wow, mistaking me for someone else. Is there a health inspector bothering you? That's uh, nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah, well. Anything I can get you? Got anything to eat? Oh, yeah. You can order up anything you want. As long as it's corn or beans. <laughs> Just kidding. Haven't you heard? With a few shipments from home and a little variety, the troops are getting restless for some quality grub. You can only do so much as a chef with just corn, beans, onions, and peppers. Can anything be done to improve your supplies? Well, we haven't had any quality meat in months. Everyone in the camp just eating beans for protein. It isn't pretty. Some of my kitchen machinery is broken down too, so we've been eating mostly raw vegetables. And I'm desperate for spices or seasonings. Anything, just something for the general mood around here. Where would you suggest I find meat in the amount of you need here? It doesn't need to all come from the same source. There are a bunch of different vendors around who sell meat. Fitz, the Nashes, Crimson Caravan. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. So I'm willing to divert some caps in their direction if they're open to supplying us. What parts are needed to fix the food processor? Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. Where am I to find these parts? I don't know. Try the various traders around the waste. Or the pawn shop on west side might have some parts. Oh, I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. Um, where should I go? Hold on. There's a radio around here that I want to turn off. Hey. Gosh. Oh, God. It's one of the... There it is. Turn off. Now. Howdy, look at that. Here I am. What do you. Lies. Where should I go? Um. Fix the fire assessor. Find this I don't know. Try the various traders around. Oh. Where should I go looking for the spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably be able to arrange a regular shipment, but I don't know of any spices known to improve mood. Hell, we have a whole research department. 
One guy's even set up in the main terminal building. They're the ones who ought to be looking into it. All right. Let's what can I do for? You? Okay. Goodbye. This too can't keep. <laughs> Success! Bypassing several broken, redundant, and copra, copra processor. There's using nothing more than bobby pins, tape, and a, a, a trooper Swiss Army knife. You managed to get the machine running. Hey, hey! Back for seconds, huh? I fixed the food processor. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. All right, let's see you. The ra fiends, cracked out junkies. All those chems make him a real bitch to take down. I was he said. Give me notes. There are a few different vendors who will sell snacks. And I try fancy. Couple other merchants rooming at fishing for interesting items. Lastly, carrying crimson caravans to be able to handle probably for us. I recommend saying the trade for some of our overstock if you can. And we need to reserve or cap ups if possible. Wait. Oh, challenges. Map, map, map. Um, I'm going stupid. Where is it? Ugh. Okay, fast travel from inside the building. You know what? No. Eddie, come here. All American. I got that because seems like it. Oh. Seems like an assault rifle type weapon I wanted to try out. It's even got a scope. What I know, I keep to myself. Careless talks cost lives. Well, is that old saying that they say in, like, at least the Navy or something? Loose lips sink ships?
There's seriously no ops. Are you kidding? Screw hacking that computer. Can't get that. My lock picks not good enough. Let's see what this guy wants. So you're back. With the light step for you never know, set off mines. McLeod is a hard box, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Okay, I didn't ask you were right on top of me when I entered, okay. Cowboy hat. Why? It's not like anyone working in this building should be using the cabs. Welcome back. Okay. It's been a Ooh, they got clean water. All the good I do kind of helps me make up for or whatever karma I lose is stealing. Besides, it's free supplies. Why would I turn down free supplies? Hmm, something I could, I could be doing. Um, Something I shouldn't have been putting off for so long.
You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. That's like the third time we heard that. Thank you. Just trim the Van Graaff family tree. I think Freeside will breathe a little easier now. Now, on to settle accounts with Alice McLafferty. Putting her down, that would suit me just fine. Can't wait to see the look on her face when I show up. She'll know why. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 hold on. We we killed the Van Grass of the Brotherhood, but like Oh my god, did we Music? Huh? What's up? Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't Hold on. Huh. You come around like a bat. I want to talk to you more about buying your caravan. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right trading history for a slip of paper. This outpost is the last place you want to be trapped. That. That's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. What will you do now? No idea. Maybe head back west though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing you could come with me go with you and why the hell would i do that why not i could use someone who knows the roads or do, or do you really want to stay in this crap hole do you really want to stay in this crap hole hmm the outpost lost its charm about three yeah. bottles ago when that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Compan, Cass is giving you the whiskey rose perk. And with that, we found ourselves- Don't run blazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. And with that, we have ourselves a new, new companion. Cass, I think your name's Rose of Cassidy, or just Cass for short. And her special perk, if you can find it. Whiskey Rose. While Cass is a companion, she and the player gain damage threshold when they drink whiskey. Additionally, the player does not suffer intelligence loss from consuming alcohol and ignores the negative effects of alcohol addiction. So, basically, what that means, if it isn't obvious enough, is that. For as long as Cass is in your party, alcoholic drinks give you all the benefits and pluses. Give you all the benefits and pluses with basically all negatives and downsides for alcoholic beverages are completely removed. Well, for as long as for as long like as Cass is in up. the party. I hear the NCR is bringing in elite troops. Nelson. So, while we got her in the party, let's do the first thing we always do with companions and talk to her. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Where was your caravan hit? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost, so I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit, so the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. 
How did you catch word of it? Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. Think there's anything left? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Alright, let's go there. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. I had other questions. Ask them then. Can you tell me something about the platinum chip? Well, no idea why your friend Mr. House wants it, but I'm guessing it's not for the caps. Where'd you get that? Where did you get that pendant you're wearing? Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Tell me about your... Um, wait, hold on. Your mother was a tribal? You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got them out west, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. That's one way to put it. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his veteran behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Whoa, hey, I don't want to hear about how frisky your mom was in the bed. Anyway, you tell me about your dad. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Any idea why he went east? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. So... Real quick fun fact, Cassidy here is actually the daughter of another character named Cassidy, who her father is a companion that you can recruit and have in your party back in Fallout 2. That's a nice little, little reference and Easter egg for, for those that have played who know who have played Fallout 2, or at least know enough about it to recognize this. So anyway, where did you learn to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Where did you learn how to handle a little dynamite? Dynamites for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twisters out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. Any other weapons you know how to use? What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. All right. All right, let's see if there are the other questions. Ask them then. How good are you in a fight? I'm fair with chucking dynamite, not bad with a pistol, if I do say so myself. Carry a knife too, but that's more for practical reasons. Prefer settling things with my fists though. Made more friends than corpses in bar fights. Plan on keeping it that way. Don't think I'm some kind of vault city pacifist though. If things get heated, I'll start shooting. Trust me. 
Is whiskey your drink of choice? Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west, before I punched enough people, so now they say it. But quiet, and when I'm not around. Whiskey Rose? Yeah, on account of my name. And the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. Where do you usually go to drink? There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. Wait, you can make moonshine? Yeah. What else are you gonna do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. No added, Cass's moonshine. So, maize, two mute fruits, yeast, and a, uh, fission battery? Next time, maybe. Alright then. Alright. Hold on. Careful where you flash that chip of yours. Not sure what kind of caps it's worth, but it's a tempting target. Other questions. Ask him then. How'd you get started in the caravan business? Started? Took to it like a fish to water. Well, if you know what a fish is. I'm familiar. No, intelligence check. I'm familiar. Do you know what a fish is? Or I could ask what the hell's a fish? <laughs> Fair enough question for a guy who's lived his entire life in a post-apocalyptic desert. <laughs> I'm familiar. Do you know what a fish is? Well, of course I do. It's this slimy, scaled thing. Like a lake lurk, except no legs. Well, most times. They're like birds, except they stay underwater. Anyway, I've seen pictures. One guy even had one above his bar in Reading, except it was made of pre-war plastic. He used to say it could sing, but I figured he was on a jet rush. So you just started in the caravan? Actually, it sort of fell on me. My feet get antsy if I stay in one place, like the Mojave Outpost. It was driving me crazy, that feeling of being trapped there. So, thanks for that. So you traveled a lot? Yeah. West, east, and passed through places enough times people would sometimes pay me some caps to take something to the next town. What, like a courier? Well, not as glamorous, I guess. Roads back west were safer in most places. Most. Anyway, occurred to me I could scratch the traveling itch and get paid for it. Cassidy caravans formed around me. Rest is history. Other questions. How's caravan life in the Mojave? Well, I'm not one for soft living or soft men. Let me tell you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. On both counts. Not sure I understand your answer. The caravan fighting here in the Mojave. It's been downright brutal. The amount of caravan space you reserve for ammo alone. And if it's not raiders, powder gangers, it's NCR tolls. They need to get the money from somewhere, even if it's Vegas bound. Do you deal mostly with NCR? Anyone wise does. Vegas families pay on time, from what I've heard. Even the Omeritas. The White Gloves pay on time, but they're creepy. Deal with anyone else, though. You're taking a big risk. What about Caesar's Legion? The Legion? What about them? I don't trade caps or supply anyone who keeps slaves and treats women like Brahmin in those camps of theirs. Do they deal with any caravans at all? There's some caravans that deal with the Legion, yes. And as much as it pains me to say it, 
Any caravan marked by the Legion is safe as houses. They guard their roads, their supply lines. Even fiends would hesitate before going after any trader dealing with Legion. You sound frustrated. I am. If NCR took the same stand and committed patrols to the roads, then I'd think that'd solve a lot of their problems right there. But they don't. Caravans get butchered in the Mojave all the time, like mine. And so fucking close to Vegas, you could see it from the wall. There must be a good parts of the Republic. NCR tries. It's just that trying doesn't mean a whole lot when you're paying your respects to the dead. And Legion, from what I've heard, they don't do the stop tolls on the roads or in the outposts like some NCR quartermasters do. You're lucky if you turn a profit sometimes if some new officer gets assigned a route, the fees just get worse. Any other differences between the Legion and NCR? Much as I hate the Legion, caravan life would be a hell of a lot easier if they ran the roads. Well, as long as those companies were run by men. And that's the biggest issue I see. And it's a shame. But I think there's people on the NCR side who feel more strongly than I do. What do you mean? Some caravans deal with the Legion now because the security. If towns could get the same protection, a lot more tempting than you'd think. A bunch of people would be willing to side with the Legion to not have to worry about fiends and boomers and powder ganger attacks. It's not hard for some folks to sell freedom when the alternative is worse. Especially if being with NCR is going to get you on a Legion cross. Sometimes you'd be surprised at what people are willing to sacrifice or trade away to guarantee security. I have other questions. Ask. I guess we already asked that. Um, what do you think of the NCR? NCR's my country, and I support it. Anyone who says otherwise? I'll feed them my knee. I know which side of the firing line I'm on in the Mojave. Just so you know. It sounds like there's a bit of a butt in there or something. Yeah, there is. Yeah. I'm not some blind, flag-saluting, do-as-they-will NCR lover. They're family. But let me tell you what family means. You ever had a brother? Some dumbass younger brother, say, who knocked up the pastor's daughter, can't hold a job, and his home away is a jail cell? That's NCR. Their compass is spinning all the time. So you're saying they lack direction? They try to put their stake in everything they see. Nobody's dick's that long. Not even Long Dick Johnson, and he had a fucking long dick. Thus the name. Thanks. I kind of got that. Thanks. So, NCR tries to hold on to everything. They can't, because it's too big for them to get their arms around. They can't guard the roads. They can't put a line of troops around the Mojave. It's just greed that makes the heads back west even try. And as a result, the Mojave suffers. Aside from the people in the towns, it's the soldiers that suffer for it most. Ever seen NCR troops asked to go after gangs at three to one odds? That bear flag doesn't make them bulletproof. And when those gangs were caused by NCR in the first place, like the powder gangers, Caesar on a crutch. Don't get me started there. So what's the alternative? Look, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want the Brotherhood or the followers or the Vegas families running the Mojave. All of them are a different kind of fuck-up. NCR just has some shaping up to do. Maybe Caesar kicking them in the nuts is a nice wake-up call, is all I'm saying. I just wish Caesar would kick the heads of NCR, not the feet. I've fucked a soldier in my time. They don't need to get fucked by their orders. So, sounds like, like the, the NCR is just trying to do their best, and they're generally good but they're stretching themselves too thin and as a result everyone's gangs they're trying to stretch themselves too thin trying to do too much 
Marines with too few resources. They're spread too thin. As a result, everyone gets gets screwed over. What can you tell me about New Vegas? Much as anyone else. Cazador trap. You fly in, the city sucks a pine out of you, then you're out on the street. NCR makes a habit of going there and dumping cash. Only the strip gets fat off it. Couldn't tell you much more than that. Not really one for New Vegas when there's enough dump water bars in the Mojave to last me. What, me? Um, do you know anything about Mr. House? Not much. And I haven't had occasion to look for anything more than that. I've heard what most people know. He's said to run New Vegas. He runs the robots. But, well, no one's really seen him. Well, except you, that is. Can you make some of them your moonshine? Don't have all the ingredients you need. Come back when you have them, and I'd be happy to get something cooking. Alright, let's move on. Alright then. Sounds like we got everything we, we can out of talking to her. Wait, where's that? There he is. Alright, by the number. Pay your respect. Cat. Cat. Um, while I'm thinking about that, um, I think the reason why the dialogue got mixed up is because... The dialogue got mixed up like that. It wasn't supposed to be said then and there, but I think when we went to kill the, the Van Graffs for, for um, the Brotherhood, I think that cost Get messed up. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas Wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would it have been done during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. I'll take the Chrissy scroll bit in. You know what? Mm -hmm. What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. I take it you want to go check that out? Yeah. It's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Sure, let's go. All right then, let's move out.
Let's go look at this one. I don't know what's up with the door there. More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. All right, let's give me a second. Let's see what we can find here. Empty bottles. Take that anti-venom. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. I take it you want to go check that out too? Yeah. Something's wrong. Yeah. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. We'll make the time. All right then, let's move out. We at least look at the problem here. All right. Sniper for you. I'll hold up here. Don't be long. All right. There's a couple, of two different quests. You want me to go talk to a stranger every day? Two different quests. Want me to talk to her and tell her that I, I sold Cass's caravan to her. Welcome back. Cassidy Caravans has been bought out and now is part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. 500 caps. Anything else you want me to do? Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there. Locate the bottle cap press and disable it. I had some questions about the bottle cap currency. What would you like to know? Why is a bottle cap press... Wait, are new bottle caps ever made? Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. What makes the bottle cap genuine? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. Why is the bottle cap press a problem for you? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small-scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass-producing new bottle caps. So it's basically the equivalent of a printing press with people like they don't want people devaluing money by printing new, new printing more money. All right. I know it's kind of bad that Dogs and coyotes we find throughout the Mojave typically wherever humans are traveling. Let's roll out then. Huh? Guess Jameson won't be showing his face around here again. It's about time. Oh, I... Well, I was thinking of, like... Huh? 
sewer. Well, I guess, I guess we'll go look at this third, third one for now. But I kinda I wanna do that quest. This too. Because at least it's free money, you know? Why is it telling me to go to the house? Like, what's the... What's the point? You'd better get out of here if you know what's good for you. Okay, that guy didn't like it, but I asked... It's stupid how... Well, I don't understand the logic of the quest at this point. Like, it was telling me to go to the house, and if I walked around the house to come over here, it would still be pointing me through the house. I wouldn't accept any route other than the... Um, Pointing me through the house. You get the stupid quest mark. It's stupid like that. Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here. And I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. A couple of guys got attacked here. If I can. Eddie, come here. Crimson Caravan Guard. Wait. A Van Grat a thug. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. There's another way. Hey, we can get evidence. Let's NCR take them down. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. The harm to the Van Graff as would last longer and travel back west. Alright. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. Ooh. She's pissed. Like, red in the face, ready to blow heads off, off with, her, with her shotgun pissed. Alright then. So, I guess this would be as good a point of any to leave her quest with you got. Hey, he's in the comment section. Should... Should we... Should we do the, this quest the way the, um, Cassidy wants to do it and... And just kill... Well, we've got good news and bad news on this. The bad news is that we kinda already killed the Van Graffs. It's already... Because of the quest we did with the Brotherhood, if you remember that. It, I don't know. So, that's already happened, and 
I think we're just gonna leave it that way. No point in like going back to, to try to undo it. So that's already happened, so. So this would be a good point as this would be as a good point of any to ask like what should we do with the Crimson Caravan Company? Should should we gather evidence to should we gather the should we look for the evidence we need to um to prove their guilt and then screw them over by sticking the NCR on them? Or should we just do, do what Cassidy wants and and, and just go just go full sicko mode and, and just attack the Crimson Caravan. But before or we but before we kill her or or, or so we can hold the phone. Take this rain we park to Jessica. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. You saying that phrase so many times almost makes me wish for a nuclear winter. See, look, it wants us to walk through this building here. The quest mark. It's telling us to go towards the storm walk through. I, we could just as easily walk around it and continue going forward. But it's not telling us to go forward over there. It's telling us to go to the door over here. And it won't accept anything other than this door or as the answer. Which is stupid. See, now it's pointing us in the right direction. I won't accept anything until we went through there. That's honestly kind of dumb. Um, uh, I mean, I can, I can understand if if there's some um, it, some occasional issue every now and then because from what I remember, a lot, and I mean a whole lot, of Fallout New Vegas is heavily based on on Fallout Three. Oh, well, it's based on the general engine or so that Bethesda's been using for years, but it's, but it's mainly built on Fallout 3. Which is why if there, if you, if you've played, a, um, if you've played Fallout 3 enough to be able to recognize any, like, recycled assets or props or so, oh, then that's, then... That will explain why these some props or so seem recycled if you played Fallout 3 enough to recognize it. But otherwise, like, they won't, the De Obsidian making Fallout New Vegas only had, like, at the most a year or so to, to, um, make Fallout New Vegas. I think it goes somewhere between like, somewhere between like ten months to at the most a year. Or in over to uh, develop the game. They had like at the most a year to develop, to program and develop the game, bug test it. It, and quality assurance. Uh, huh? Quality assurance. Huh? Quality assurance. The fastest the animated rancher. Huh? Anyway, they had like ten months to a year to to like.
to um, develop the game and a bug test it for bugs and quality assurance. And then, and then like ship it out. Oh, this isn't a this isn't a fully automatic. It's semi-automatic. You know, what's Just in time for your ass you know what's something that kind of bugs me? Is it my imagination or does the inside of the robot look like me? Like either that's exploded and burnt wires, or that looks like me. Well, some parts of it like that are obviously wires, but a lot of it like in the center, like... Well, look at this, I can kind of understand it looking either way, but a lot of time looking inside the need to protect chalk like this, it kind of looks like you're looking inside, they look like meat on the inside or something. Let's kick this in gear. Well now, well now I think man, it's getting to feel like it's just me seeing that. See, look, it kind of looks like meat a bit and wires. Well, now I'm getting to feel a little conscious about, self-conscious about it, like it's my imagination. Sunset Sasquatch Company, the intranet, the annual sales report. Our performance in the East continues to improve thanks to the new Build Mass with SAS campaign. The Northeast continues to be a tough nut to crack, and continued slow growth is expected. Things are shaping up in the North and Midwest, as then the leaders of the teams are to be, be commended. As usual, performance in the South. With West is strong, but overall, well, this has been a banner year for Sunset Sarsaparilla, and you should all be proud of yourselves. <clears throat> In case you don't recognize it, the the north the northeast continues to be a tough nut to crack. Might be a reference to how Sunset Sarsaparilla only really appears in Fallout New Vegas as like an alternative to. Um, Nuka Cola, but it doesn't appear anywhere else in the um, but it doesn't appear anywhere else in the series like Fallout, or at least in the more recent in series like Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. So, so if you're wondering like why is there so much in Sunset Sarsaparilla? Like, it's just as common in... Like, what's with Sunset Sarsaparilla? Why is it, like, as common as Nuka-Cola, if Commencing not... Lock. Huh? Oh. Like, why is it practically just as common, if not more common? Just as common, if not more common, than in a oop. Keeping quiet. It just appears when you look under it, but it's there when you look at it from the top. You know, like if you're wondering why it's so common in in Fallout New Vegas, but you're wondering why you don't see it in Fallout Three or Fallout Four, it's cut. Like, well, there, well, it's at least in in. At least there's like your in-game lore or so for why. Your real life explanation, deve game developer explanation would fall be along the lines of, of Fallout New Vegas. This was made by Obsidian, which a lot of the time, he like is made by. Here's the pretty best. Uh, the, the the developers at Obsidian were like the same people who made Fallout One and Two. And I think the guy, like, what's his name, Chris Hepin or whatever, like, worked on Fallout 2 as well, so... A lot of the people that worked on the first two games, 1 and 2, came back to work on New Vegas. 
is they're so building it off of, like the Fallout 3 engine. Which is why, like, like Fallout New Vegas refer has a lot more references to Fallout 1 and 2 compared to, like, how often Fallout 3 and 4 reference the earlier games. So, like, the 3 and 4 are made by Bethesda, but they own all the entire series, including, in, like, New Vegas and the first two games. Anyway, Ball Cat Press. The grease on the Ball Cat Press is fresh, indicating that someone used it recently. Leave it alone. Strip all the important looking bits out of the machine. Disable the pass or turn to Alpha and re and let her know the ball can't press is out of action. But yeah, if you ever want, like, like a really easy source of Sunset Sathrilla, then look no further than the, uh, than the factory here. Come here and you'll just be loaded for life. Or at least for a good while, depending, it kind of depends on, like, how, how you go about, you know, healing. kind of make my way back to the front of the building again and for something else real quick. Yeah. 
to get full as a tick on Sunset Sarsaparilla to even come close. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, partner, and keep drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be guzzling down bottles and bottles and bottles of this stuff. Howdy, partner! Anyway, let's look at the next one. Star Info. Oh, new to the hunt, are ya? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there, and what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. Except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. The Legend of the Star. Return the Festus with enough Sunset Sarsaparilla star caps to earn a prize. Okay, where's my miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Ball Caps. The game will be nice enough of to um to keep these like distinct and separate from your regular bottle caps. So, like, I have 18 of them, like, as shown here. They're not counting my caps up here. So you don't have to worry about accidentally spending them. But, man, while you can find a whole bunch of them all over the game world, you can also find them by just randomly getting them through sheer luck from drinking, you know, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Of bottles, like for real, you could, like, if you just hunt down large enough quantities of them, you can, you can just spam drink them all, well, and hope you get lucky. Howdy, partner. If you were... Um, deposit your sense it. Real stars in your slot. Well, that's a good start, there, soft horn. But that's not enough by a long shot. Okay, I have never completed that side quest, so whatever happened, I never gathered 50 to be to um, beat that side quest. So, whatever, like, how, how that ends, I don't know. Oh, I've never seen it. I'll hold up here. Don't be long. However that, however that request ends, I honestly don't know. But either way, like, so, so if I've and heard that elite units are on the way to support our armies here. Shut up, I'm talking. So anyway, I, so whatever, however that happens, it will be completely brand new to me, I, and I've never seen it. Before. But anyway, yeah, I just want, I at least want to cash in all the possible quests that, that I can do for her before I, before like Cassie's quest. Welcome back. Ball cap press is no longer a problem. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Pressing matter. Ooh, 500 caps. She it's pays been well. a pleasure. I think that's as far as I'm aware. I believe that's all the quests you can and do with or for her. Or so at this point, he, um. When payday hits, I'm off to the strip. Can't wait. So it looks like that's the end of our. Uh, of our quest with the Crimson Caravan Company.
there's any others I'm not aware of. Who? Let's hit the road. And with that, I. I think this is a good time, if there's any, to stop the video. Oh, and honestly, the, um, this is a good point, stopping point. Thank you so much for watching, and the question I'll leave this on, as I asked earlier, is what are we going to do with Cassidy's quest? Should we... Bad just, guys won't see us coming. I just know she has, like, a hole in her knee, so you see her leg. Anyway, um... Anyway, what should we do with Cass's quest? Should we do as she wants and just gun down the Crimson Caravan? And for, um, for what they did, we've kind of already done that into the Van Grass, which is why she made a comment when we talked to her again about it. But, um, so, you have to forgive me, like, done out of order. Or, but, like, but anyway, like, that was for the Brotherhood of Steel, like, completely different, but, but what, what should we do with the Crimson Caravan? Should we do as she wants, Cassidy wants to gun him down? Should we look for the evidence and try to, to, um, prove with the situation and with, um, um, to the NCR? Tell me what you think down in the comments watching but anyway thank you so much for watching this has been fall vegas you know how much i appreciate come thank you again for watching and until next time i will see you guys around